My name is Sam Rigari. I've been uh, growing mangoes from 1984 and I've had several, several experiences on mango farm and when we started growing mangoes there were a few mango farmers in the area and we are growing mangoes only for export. I started with the planting 120 mango trees but later I expanded the, the crop of the orchard until today when I have 383 mango trees and I still have some room for expansion but I've not started expanding the, the farm. We had terrible experience at the beginning because when we started selling mangoes for export, we did not know that we would have problem with the fruit flies until mangoes were injected in the, in the market. First of all, selling mangoes, people known as East African growers, and these are the people who pinpointed that there were some fruits which were damaged by the fruit flies. This was way back in 1991 when a came here to collect mangoes and they said that their mangoes were damaged. And this is when I started thinking about the fruit fly control. At the beginning, we were using the cover spray with the insecticides. You want to cover the whole tree with the insecticide and we targeted every fruit on the tree. And we were using a lot of uh, insecticides. On top of fungicides, which we were mixed with uh, insecticides, fungicides were mainly for, for control of the fungal diseases, diseases on flowers and also the skin equality on the fruits. But what we realized that the main problem was actually the pests. We had two pests at the beginning, which were serious to the mango fruits. These are the, the fruit fly itself and the mango seed weevil. And mango seed weevil was a problem, particularly when the mangoes were to be exported to the Middle East, where they don't like any fruit associated with the, with the mango seed weevil. But we tried all we could to manage the, the, the orchard, that is to control the, the fruit flies. And I can say that we had not a single time when we had mango fruits without the problem of the fruit fly. And this remained a problem until when we got the, the orchard getting big trees and it was almost difficult to cover all the fruits with the pesticides to an extent of getting fruits which are not damaged. We use all kinds of the pesticides, we use the strong ones so that we could have even the fruit flies explored by the, by the smell from this chemical. But we found that when the fruits are beginning to mature, it was difficult to control the fruit flies. Some fruit flies would rather die when they are actually laying fruits on, laying the eggs on the mangoes themselves. But this problem kept on, kept on until even myself and my family had problems with the, with the insecticides. We would get some irritation on the fruit when the the mango trees have been covered with the, with the pesticides. We will get irritation. And we found that the whole place was getting contaminated with the, with the chemicals. I can say that I was happy to come in contact with the ICP sometimes back in the year 2001-2002 when I was actually getting fed up with the mango farming because I felt my health was affected, even my wife had a problem with the, with the chemicals in the, in the farm. That is, the environment in the farm was actually contaminated with the, 
with the pesticides. Now, it's a long story how I came in contact with the super people. It happened that in the year 2000 and 2001, I was working with uh, an NGO, a non-government organization known as REOMA. That is a Regional Land Management. And they gave me some assignment to teach mango farming in Nyanza, particularly in Yakash division. And when they gave me that activity, later on they were sponsoring a program at ICPE to train the agricultural officers and the farmers on the way of controlling the fruit flies. And I was invited. So I was trained to handle the fruit flies in the year 2002 particularly and to let me talk about the summary on the integrated pest management. You use little money to control the pests, you will get good natural environment in the orchard, not polluted, and when you are in the farm, you just pick any fruit and eat because you know that fruit is free from the pesticides. And those who are going to the market are almost sure that the fruit they pick from my farm are actually uh, fruit fly free. It's not possible to guarantee, but uh, those who harvest from mangoes from my farm we will go to the market and come back, okay? As we had last season, we had people, foreigners, who came and bought mangoes from my orchard. They took mangoes to Uganda, and the following week they came back. This means that the mangoes went to the market without any problem. We have some ladies around who buy mangoes from the farm, take the mangoes to Nairobi, and when they come from Nairobi market, they come back for more mangoes. And that is not even a serious issue. We are able to sell the right mangoes in the, in the farm. And people come to buy mangoes here. They take them, we have a funny market at the injunction, two kilometers away from here. They take mangoes there, they, they, they actually peel the mangoes and sell peeled mangoes to the people traveling in the, in the vehicles, in the Nissan's going to Nairobi. They go eating the mangoes. And they take mangoes there in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, they come back for more mangoes because the mangoes were good. And this makes the farm popular, and this is what we call business. Last season was my best season so far. I made a lot of money. Okay, My average used to be 100,000 shillings per season. It rose up to 200,000. And last season, I recorded over 300,000 uh, Kenya shillings from a small orchard like the one I have. And this is because of the integrated pest management which I have used with instructions from Misipe. And we used to use my farm only, but now the program has expanded to the neighborhood. And we have uh, an area known as Karumu. It's uh, about nine kilometers from here. They have also recorded this wonderful increase in mango sales. And they have talked about it, it was in the papers last season, that we had increased our mango sales as a result of the, the pest management or integrated pest management which we have acquired from ISIPE. We are only appealing to ISIPE that they will continue re doing the research so that when we don't have the mass of them, we get alternative food for fruit flies which you can reuse as bait. Otherwise, to me as a farmer, I have a lot of lands to receive people because they saved my life from polluted air in the farm to a farm where ja, whereby you just pick a fruit on, on, on the ground and you eat. If you can wash, fine, you are washing off the soil but not the chemicals. And I said that that's all the, the advantages I've acquired from the city.